Hi there, everyone. Welcome back to SCB TV Channel 182's The Dose. I'm so excited right now to be on location with Hyde Prosthetics. I'm here speaking with the founder of the group, Todd Hyde. Hey, Thank you for you? joining us. Very excited to have you on. Now, this is a topic that more people want to know about. Mm -hmm. Explain the world of prosthetics. All right, so prosthetic limbs are artificial limbs where someone has lost a limb, okay. and we fabricate custom prosthetics to accommodate them in their everyday life. Yes, wow. Mm -hmm. And so you're holding this right here. It's really yes. neat. It looks innovative. Explain. Yes, it is. Uh, so this is a below the knee prosthesis. Um, it is, we do all types of colors and anything oh, wow. to make things exciting yes. for, for people. Um, so this is, uh, once again, below the knee. Uh, most people, they, they always wonder how they stay on. Exactly. So, for example, this is a liner. Oh, wow. uh, the patient will place this liner on their residual limb. Okay. Residual limb being uh, the amputated side. They roll it on and it's got a pin on the bottom. And this uh, specific one has a lock, which is in the bottom of the prosthesis. And when they put the liner on and they go into the socket, it locks wow. and therefore it stays on. Very so for them to get it off at night or whenever they would like to take yes. it off, there's a little button on the side that they push and it comes out. Wow. So, so that's it. And this uh, particular one also has a, a unit for, say, someone who likes to golf, okay. which allows the foot to, to torque back and forth. Oh, wow. Uh, to give sort of a, the, the normal motions that, yes. that we have that an amputee wouldn't have. Um, so yeah, so this is a, a prosthesis below the knee, and here you can feel and see wow. how light it is. It is. Very, very light. Much so. Mm -hmm. I like this. Now, when I'm touching this and looking at it, it's obvious for me to say technology for prosthetics has certainly evolved in the last 30 years. Explain. Right. So um, whenever, uh, the, sad to say, whenever there's a war, okay. um, uh, the government always puts a lot of funding into research and development okay. uh, for their soldiers, yes. um, you know, amputees when they um, have an accident. Okay. Um, so currently there's a lot of technology on uh, types of suspension, the way a prosthesis is held on, uh, different devices, uh, knees, feet, arms, yes. everything. So um, they're constantly looking for new ways to hold a prosthesis on, okay. uh, to make it function more like an, a normal yes, locomotion exactly. and gait. Uh, so so they're, they're constantly changing things, making materials lighter, um, you know, all this stuff. So, so luckily we get to, you know, take advantage of those and, you know, equip our patients with very high-tech prosthetic limbs. Oh, wow, and I know your patients love it. And you explained to me that one does not fit everyone. No, that, you that's correct. You offer customer service here. Yes, that's every, really everything here is, is, is custom. Uh, there's nothing off the shelf. Okay. Uh, basically, when they come in, we take a mold of their, their limb, and everything is made around, around that. So there's not a one-size-fits-all at all. I see. All. So that's important mm -hmm. to note. For example, here's a leg here for uh, a young lady who she really likes for her legs to look real. <laughs> and yeah, she likes to get out on the town. So that's we awesome. do everything that's personalized just for them. So here's a you know, cosmetic prosthesis. Okay. Yeah, everything looks 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 real yes and, it does um you know we, we shape it to to resemble the other leg to okay. try to match it perfectly okay now uh, we match skin tone everything it even has toenails on here you can oh, paint wow. them all Very that fun nice. stuff and the same thing with arms as well there's a lot of cosmetic you know covers that we can put on to match their other their other arm okay uh, hair fingernails Fingerprints. Wow. It's, it's, oh wow! It's, very yeah. personalized. Very and Very personalized. stylish. Exactly. But mm -hmm. I know here, of course, you're showing us some awesome demonstration side. But you also get physical with the patients, so they're mm -hmm. able to actually try on the prosthetics, right? right? Yeah. So, um, you know, this isn't a you know one-stop shop where we see them and we're we're done. Uh, we, we, this is a lifetime. I love that. So Todd, I know here at Hyde Prosthetics, you all are really a part of the process from the beginning to the end with the patients. So you actually make your prosthetics here in this room? We do. So right behind the store, I'm going to show you uh, where we make orthotic braces and prosthetic limbs. Wow. Mm -hmm. Join us. So we're witnessing an orthotic brace that we're about to uh, fabricate with a piece of hot plastic. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. And so how long is this process? Uh, so this process is actually really quick. Uh, we, the, the longest part is waiting for the plastic to heat up. I see. So once the plastic heats up, this is actually really, really quick. It takes you know, probably 30 seconds. So I love this because in the beginning we saw the final product, but here we're actually seeing everything molding into what the patients mm -hmm. will actually wear. Exactly. So, so this is a mold of uh, someone's actual foot. Yes. Um, and we've done modifications to it um, depending on what type of brace they're going to receive. Okay. Uh, and we, we custom uh, do all the colors, which you'll you'll see when we put a, a transfer paper on the plastic. And so basically our patients get to pick out what colors they want it to be. Very and cool. uh, when we pull the plastic over 
this mold, everything will suck in really quick and custom form to the, the orthosis. Mm -hmm. And I know it's a team effort here, right? I mean, right. you have some very instrumental colleagues that help you get right. through this process. Exactly, yes. It's, a, it's definitely a team effort. We all have yes. our little specific areas that we, we kind of specialize in. So here in a minute, we're going to uh, take a piece of plastic, which if you watch right now, they, are, they have the plastic that is heated up. Okay. And they're putting the transfer paper, which is what the patient gets to, to pick out. Yes. And so they're laying the transfer paper on the plastic and they're smoothing it out to make sure everything's, you know, there's no wrinkles or anything in it. Um, and once it sticks, which you'll see in a minute, they're going to pull it off and act the actual transfer paper is going to transfer over, oh, and it's wow. transfer paper, um, onto the plastic. I see. Yeah. And so once they do that, then they'll pull it off. Um, then, the, then we'll be ready to pull the plastic onto the mold. Wow. And I think it's important to emphasize that even though we're in the process, that that patient was actually already measured for it. And there's also some techniques you all do since you explained to me, Shana, everybody doesn't necessarily walk alike, right? right. Yeah, or, or everybody walks different. Um, so this particular brace, there's different joints in there depending on this this, this person and how they walk and how we, we, we want them to walk. Okay. A lot of times they come in and they, they walk a certain way that there's a reason why they're getting the brace. Yes. And so uh, when we see them and evaluate for it, uh, we, we de decide what type of orthotic brace they need. Yes. And this is when we come in here and make everything specifically for them. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just so amazed by what a customized process this is, right? It is. It is. From the start to the end, mm -hmm. all for your patient. That's right, it is. And there's certainly a science and a technique to the process your there colleagues is. are performing. Mm -hmm. There is, absolutely. Right now, the hot piece of plastic is going on. You ready? Yeah. All right, there it goes. Now they're trimming the excess off the bottom. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Everything is very instantaneous. And now we're going to leave the vacuum on this mold, uh, sucking in the plastic while we let the, the, the plastic cool down. Very neat. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. There we have it from start to finish. Mm -hmm. A prosthetic custom made just for your patient. That's right. And this particular one is an orthotic brace. And we do the same thing as you know, back here. We have a, a prosthetic limb that we'll be making shortly. Um, but this particular one is an orthotic brace. And it's custom to uh, the, the patient. And yeah, and so here in the next couple of days, we'll see how it fits. Wow. And it's obvious why high prosthetics has such a great reputation in the community because you're putting the focus on your patients. I love it. Stay with us. You're watching the dose.